functions in bash scripting. I've already edited sample.sh. Here, I declare a function called shout. All the function does is execute this bash statement. After the function has been declared, I have a statement that says echo. Samah wants to shout out and say. And then the next statement, I call the function. Notice that declaring the function has this syntax. It starts with the word function, and then the name of the function, and then it has curly braces, and then inside there are statements. Let me run this script. It did what we said it would do. It echoed out this line. Then when we called the function, it echoed out what the function echoes out. Now I want to demonstrate a function with parameters. I went back and edited the script between video clips. Let me show you what I did. The function declaration looks the same, but in my echo statement within the function, I'm using a variable called $1. This is variable expansion. Now, when I call the function shout, I pass it an argument. The argument is a string. The argument gets sent to the function, and the function receives it in a variable called $1. Okay, so what's this code going to do? It's going to declare this function. It's going to run this echo command, and then it's going to run this command, which calls the shout function with the argument, my gosh. Let's watch. The echo gives you this. The function call gives you this. There's the parameter that we passed to the function right there. The O and the exclamation mark are part of the echo. And then this is the value of $1 right here. Okay. Here I've extended the function. Instead of just having $1, there's also $2. Keep in mind, you can have $1 through 9, but when you get to $10, 11, or 12, you're going to need to put braces around the variable. Let me show you what braces look like around the variable. For example, like this. These braces isolate the variable so that if there's another significant character right following the variable, Bash can distinguish where the variable name begins and ends. By the way, I'm calling the function twice, and each time I'm giving it two variables. Let's run this. What has Donald done? Oh, heck. And here it's Gosh and Donald. Here it's Heck and Winnie. Okay, this example here is more complicated. It demonstrates the dollar at... Remember, the dollar at inside of a function is going to recall all the arguments for the function as an array. Okay? And let me first, before I describe that, let me first show you what the function calls look like. Here, number of, of func args. We're calling the function. That's the name of our func. Okay, so we're calling it, and we're doing a wildcard expansion. This expands to the names of all the files in the current directory that end in .txt. In our case, it's only one file. Either way, dollar at is going to contain an array of all the arguments so it'll be an array of one element and it'll be that one text file the next time we call the function we don't do any expansion we simply give it four arguments okay so dollar at is still going to be an array of all the arguments now next we do an ls uh, this is command expansion so we're basically running the ls command and the result is going to be fed in as arguments to the function num of func args. Now, it's very important that you understand that dollar at retrieves the arguments as an array. Each element of that array is one argument. So, if there was an argument that had two words in it, but there's quotes around those, wor that, those two words, then that those two words are still one argument and they will be one element of this dollar at array. Anyways, Okay, so what's the loop going to do? It's going to echo out. Well, first, it's going to loop through the array of arguments. So for each argument, it's going to echo that argument out on, this, on the line uh, using this echo statement. And while it's doing it, we have a counter here, which is counting. And it will put the count right next to that argument. Okay, so let's run this. Okay, first function call. We have this statement. So here is the argument, and it's just one argument. The next function call. Remember, jelly beans are sweet? Okay. Each argument number is here, and each argument is listed here. 
So you can see the for loop is processing the dollar at array. And likewise, with the, when we used the ls command, and it was expanded to be the names of all the files in our directory. That's it for this video.